Welcome to Bearded Radness. Today I'm going to unbox the legendary SM7B microphone by Shure. The time has come. I saved up enough of my YouTube monies to buy this microphone. It has been on my wish list for a while, so I finally have it. So let's unbox it and I'll do a little uh, speaking test and vocal test with it. Nothing too crazy, so let's see what's in the box. <laughs> Set that aside. Hopefully not get any glare. Yeah, close enough. Alright, so what do we have here? A little bit of tape. We got our trusty knife. I told you not to do that in front of my friends. Alright, let's cut this open. Let's see what we got. Well, for starters, as always, we have a pamphlet, some instructions, uh, a sure sticker with a neon green. That's pretty cool. Um, how to hook it up, blah, blah, blah. Definitely use a preamp gain booster. We know that for sure. No pun intended. I just rolled off the tongue there. Okay, first piece of foam. Okay, so here's uh, how the box looks. We have what appears to be a uh, Velcro strap, probably for microphone cable, to wrap it up and have it look nice. Here we have the plate to cover up the switches that are on the back of the microphone. And here is, oh geez, that is heavy. So here is the microphone itself. The big reveal. I am so excited to have this. Dun, 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 dun. Set that aside. Um, first thoughts. Wow, this is a heavy microphone. They weren't joking when they said sturdy construction. This is a fucking sledgehammer, bud. I think there's another uh, filter for it. Pop filter you put on. Oh, yes. So we have the one... That is shaped like that. I rarely see anybody actually use this at all. It says on the box it is a close talk windscreen. I'm rolling away. A close talk uh, windscreen, but I don't think I'll ever use that, so I'll keep that in the box here. All right, let's set all this aside. So the microphone out of the box I just noticed is set up for um, like to set like this. To use it and have like a boom arm or whatever come down so I need to take it off this stand and flip it over because 99% of the time I'll have actually I don't have to flip it over what the hell am I thinking um, so I can just put that plate on the back so that the sure says uh, reads correctly why was I thinking I had to turn this around maybe yeah, I don't know I don't know what the fuck I was thinking got brain fog still from uh, being sick. Six and a half hours later. Okay, I take all that back. So looking at it more, I am gonna have to switch it because the so the mic input here is on the back side. So when I'm using the mic on a stand or holding or whatnot, it'll be facing toward me. Cause right now that's backwards, and this wire that comes off to where the microphone hooks up is kind of right there in your grip or in the way. So yeah, we do have to flip this around. Oh, this is still, this ain't right. It's not tightening up. Well, after a few small technical difficulties, I finally have the microphone set up. I have it situated how I want on the stand here. And this is running into my Clark Technic preamp mic booster and then directly into my Yamaha mixer. I have the EQ on there set flat, so you're hearing just the raw microphone signal as it was out of the box. I am going to do a quick little vocal demo, if you will. Uh, I put together a track with some bass and drums that I did last night, so I'll give it a quick little vocal test. Mind you, as you can hear, my voice is still hoarse from being sick. So yeah, this is uh, a little vocal test for you. Hear that bass. Get wrecked. This is my microphone test here on Bearded Radness. Yeah, I think that's about it. Sounds like a banger to me. Thank you for watching this crappy unboxing. 
Uh, so yeah, I got a new microphone. That's it for this one. Stay rad. Ah! <laughs>